Fence testers, fault finders, and remotes are some of the most helpful tools you can own if you have an electric fence. Just between the amount of time and frustration that they save makes them a must have. In this video, we're gonna show you several models and styles of testers, how to use them, and what they have to offer. First, we have the five light voltage tester, comes with an attached ground probe. This is a really inexpensive model. It's a great start if you're looking to keep an eye on the voltage on your fence, and it will read up to 8,000 volts. To use the five light voltage tester, simply insert the probe into the ground, make contact between the tester and the fence, and you'll begin to see the lights light up, indicating the range of voltage on the fence. Next, we have the wireless five light LED tester. This runs off of a nine volt battery inside. Just make sure you hook up the battery before you use it. It works similar to that first model where it lights up the bulbs according to the range of voltage on the fence, anywhere from two to 10,000 volts. There is no metal plate or contact to be made on this unit. You just place this gap, this hook, right up against the fence and it will read through the housing. Press the button to power it up, place it up against the fence and you'll see the indicated light bulb light up with voltage. Next, we have the digital voltmeter and 12 volt battery tester. This has a digital readout display and comes with an attached ground probe. It also comes with a set of battery tester leads that you hook up into the corner of the tester itself. It runs off of an internal nine volt battery. If you have a solar powered energizer or are running a dual purpose energizer straight off of a battery, this is the tester you want because it allows you to check both your fence and your battery. So to use this tester, push the probe into the ground, make contact with the fence. You can see on the digital display, we're reading about 5.4, 5.3. This is the fault finder voltmeter. It has an internal nine volt battery and it has a digital display that'll show you voltage, amperage, and direction of fault. Uh, when you're making contact with the fence and you press the power button, if there's an issue on the fence, it'll light up one of these directional arrows telling you which way to find the issue. There's also a battery life indicator. When you're not making contact with the fence, pressing the button, you'll see a dot light up indicating that the battery life is good. So when you use this model, you wanna press the power button and then make good contact with the fence. So over here on the left-hand side, you'll see the voltage. The right-hand side by the A, you'll see the amperage indicator. Right now we have no amps on the fence. If we would have a spike in amps or an issue on the fence, we would see one of these arrows light up indicating the direction of the issue. This is the Speedrite Fault Finder. It also runs off of a nine volt internal battery. It uses visual display on the digital readout as well as audible cues to help you find faults and determine between voltage and amperage issues. To use this model, press the power button. The display will come on. Make contact with the fence. You'll see the voltage in the upper right corner and then any amp issue or directional arrow will show up down below. And you can hear it clicking with the pulse of the fence that tone will change when there's an amperage issue to track down. This model has multiple surfaces where you can take a reading. You can use the main pin at the top. You can use the exposed pin on the back, just slide it in the slot. Or you can rest your material right across the front face in the groove to also get a reading. And finally, this is the digital fault finder and remote compatible with PowerWizard energizers. The six, 13, and 24 joule energizers can all be powered with this unit. You can get a voltage reading, amperage reading, directional arrows for fault finding issues, as well as turn the energizer on or off from anywhere on your fence line, which is extremely helpful. To use this unit, you'll press the power button, you'll see it light up, and it will either show a voltage or an amperage display. You can toggle back and forth between the two just by pressing the power button. So we'll put it on the voltage reading and we'll make contact with our fence. So we're reading between 4.5 and 5 kilovolts. And if we press our power button again, you'll see the A pop up indicating amperage. This will either read low or it'll give us a number or a number with a directional arrow. And that arrow indicates the direction of our issue that we can track down on the fence. Once we find our issue, if you're using this with a remote compatible energizer, you can press and hold the off button and that will put the energizer in standby mode. You can work on the fence, make any repair you need to, then you can press and hold the on button to resume normal operation. Similar to the Power Wizard remote capable energizers, Speedrite also offers 
certain Energizer models that are remote capable as well. When you're checking your fence, typically you want to see high voltage and low amperage to indicate that you are in good working order. If you see a spike in amperage, that indicates that you most likely have an issue on your fence. And if you have a fault finder, those direction arrows can point you to the issue so that you can fix it. Effective voltage may change on your fence depending on what species you're containing or keeping out. Typically, you want to be above four or five to be in that effective range for livestock. You can find all of these fence testers, remotes, and fault finders at KenCove.com. And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice.